G'day you all. Um, today what we're going to do is we're just going to do a real simple uh, refurbishment of this pair of uh, Florsheim uh, brown leather boots, or leather shoes I should say, and um, just it's something that we, we, we can all do and it's, there's not a lot of um, technicality in it, it's a pretty simple process and so what I'll do is I'll step you through it, simple three step process, see if we can bring them up to a a really good shine, they're a good set of um, quality shoes and I, I think they deserve to be showcased. So, so first what we'll do is we'll give them a brush over with a horsehair brush just to get any of the um, surface dust and uh, any any light dirt that's on there and you can see they're not stained or uh, in disrepair so there's no need to do anything um, major in a deep clean. Uh, so we'll do that with the horsehair brush and then we'll use our welt brush to apply the wax polish onto the welt. Um, and then we'll apply the leather balm, the Angelus leather balm, let that soak in, then buff off any excess, apply the brown luster cream, once again let it soak in and then buff off the excess and then finally work in the light brown shoe wax polish, buff it off with a horsehair brush and then as a final, this is a really good tip for you as well, is to use a stocking just to go over and that really brings out the gloss to a, a high standard. So uh, we'll go ahead. Okay, we'll start off on the, the right shoe uh, and I'll make sure I leave the left shoe in um, frame shot so you can see as we go through the, the comparison of it. Uh, I've removed the lace as well so we can get in there and, and do the tongue so we're not impeded. Um, as you can see just even by using that uh, what was uh, a dull finish has now come up quite well just by doing that. So I'll go ahead, I'll finish this off and I'll bring it back. So there we go, just after a, a quick brush, um, just brought it up to a nice nice shine. It's a base, base level shine. Uh, we can do much better than that. And uh, we'll go on with the next step, which is the welt. Okay, what we're doing now with the uh, the welt is we're just going to use the uh, wax polish. I like to use the wax polish in the welt um, because what it does is, is it places a, a, an effective coating onto the uh, surface uh, and it uh, repels water in, in dirt as well so I always find it's um, a good practice to use uh, a wax polish on the welt. All right, so I'll go ahead and I'll do the remainder and I'll show you the finished product. And the reason I, I like to use uh, a welt brush, uh, it allows you um, very good access in, especially around the instep of the shoe. Right, so the welt has been done, didn't take long at all. Um, I don't worry about uh, brushing it off at this stage because um, when we move on to the uh, the next uh, three stages anyway, you're constantly over those areas with the uh, horsehair brush anyway, so that'll naturally um, and incidentally be um, polished. Right, on to the next step. Right, so as you can see, even just after that uh, simple process, uh, the difference is, um, you know, quite evident, uh, but we're still on step one here, so we've got a few more to go before we get up to that perfect shine. Uh, this, this is, in my um, belief, is the most uh, important and probably the most overlooked when uh, people are, are treating their uh, shoes or polishing their shoes. Because um, it's leather, um, it needs to be conditioned. Otherwise, it'll dry out and it'll, and it'll readily crack. So applying a balm or a conditioner uh, regularly to your shoes as part of your uh, regular uh, care um, is paramount. And it's quite easy to do. Um, and I tend to do this, uh, probably uh, put a leather balm onto my shoes, probably um, around the six month mark, because um, the luster cream that we use in the next step has also got um, conditioning qualities as well. But having said that, the, nothing, nothing can beat an actual um, purpose um, designed or um, made conditioner, or in this case a balm. So what I'll do is I'll just go through and um, apply this to the rest of the uh, shoe. Uh, I'll bring you back in. And as you can see, it's, it's going on quite easily. Um, it's quite easy to do it on, to an apply a balm.
Right now, so I've finished the first coat of um, Angelus Leather Balm, and just while looking at it, uh, you know it's been applied because the um, it, it's a quite quite dull finish, and and that's good because what's happening now is the leather is actually soaking that balm into it uh, to draw it into it, and if if you see that um, as you're applying it and it's really sucking it back, uh, you might just want to apply another another coat as well. Depending on how long your, sh your shoes or boots have been sitting for, they'll really drink up that um, that conditioner. So what we might do is just apply another another coat, uh, and then got to let it stand, stand. So let it stand for. I like to let them stand for at least an hour uh, to really draw it back in. Right. So I've just let it uh, permeate in there for about an hour. It's actually, a bit over now. Now I'll just buff it off with the um, horsehair brush. So as you can see, just from doing that, um, it's got a, a nice shine. But um, what I'll do is I'll finish off the uh, the shoe. I'll bring it back in. Right. So there we have. After we've buffed off with the. Um, leather balm and that's one of the reasons why I like the Angelus leather balm because uh, not only is it a, a good conditioner but it also brings up a, a decent shine just from doing that so if we can compare the two so we're well on track right next step is the luster cream right so I'll go on with the luster cream now um, another thing you need to be aware of is when you're using your polishes you want to try and match it um, as best you can. Um, if we were going to, if we didn't have the right polish, we'd probably use a lighter polish rather than a darker polish if we wanted to keep the same colour on the boot or shoe for this instance. So a lighter colour is always better than a darker one, and the darker one's always going to take over as the dominant colour. All right, so we'll just go ahead and place the luster cream on. It's always best to do this with a cloth and you just want to work it into the grain of the leather as you go. You don't need a great deal, you don't need to go uh, nuts on the um, amount of polish you put on. Um, a, light, a lighter uh, coat is always better because you, you can work it in to the grain of the leather and it, it, won't, it won't be um, excessive. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll continue to, to do the rest of the shoe. Alright, so there you have the, um, the application of the cream. And we're going to let that sit. I like to sit for at least 10 minutes. Uh, and what we'll do, see the secret of success then with a shoe, we're using a shoe cream before the the, the uh, wax polish. You put on a couple of coats, so what we'll do next is we'll buff it off, then reapply it. And we might even do three coats. What it is, we'll build the foundation on the leather, and it's easier for the, the wax polish to, um, to do its job. Right, so what we're doing now is just in the, the final stage of buffing off. We applied um, three coats of the uh, luster cream. Um, just in the final stage now of buffing it off. Let's have a look at what it turned out like. So pretty good shine um, compared to what it, to what it was. So what we're doing now is we're going to apply the wax polish. Right, so the next step is the application of the uh, the wax polish, once again an Angelus polish. And once again we're going to use the cloth to apply it. And we're just going to work that into the leather. Right, so what I'll do now is I'll just go over and do this to the uh, entire shoe.
Right, so we just finished the application of the wax polish. And uh, a good rule of thumb to to gauge on when you need to, or when's the best time to buff that off. You're not going to let it stand for an hour or even ten, um, like I do with the previous polishes. A good rule of thumb there is, uh, you, once you've applied it, place it down to the side, apply the polish on your next boot, and then come back, and then buff it off. So you don't have to let it stand for quite long. A uh, long period of time, probably five minutes, is would, would suffice. Right, so just giving it a buff off now. Just to see how, the, how it transforms from, with, with the wax polish there. Um, I always find it's good to get a good bit of speed up with the horsehair brush when you're doing the wax polish. Um, the wax uh, polish reacts with the heat caused by the friction of the bristles. Right, so just finish the toe there. Go ahead and do the rest. Right, so I just buffed off the first coat, and it's come up really, really well. Really good polish. Right, so I'll do another coat, and uh, I'll bring back and show you the uh, end result. Right, so there you have it. Um, I've just um, buffed off the final of the three coats of the wax polish. Um, the last thing I like to do with all of my boots and shoes is, is the last part of the, the gloss, which is the step three, is just give it a, a wipe over with the stopping. And that, just in itself, brings up a, a higher level of gloss. Right, so what I'll do now is I'll put the shoelace back together, uh, present a before and after, then I'll go ahead and do the same procedure to the other shoe. And that is just from a brush on. See how it's standing.